Hey YouTubers, good morning, it's Rob Moffitt. Guys, we're making a video today for just about everybody. Almost everybody has electrical equipment that uses batteries that's sitting around somewhere in their house or apartment. It's getting all corroded and making a little coral reef on the connections. Many people know these tricks, but some people don't, so I thought I'd go over. And even some people do, I'm gonna go over some things that you may not have known. So here's the problem, your batteries corrode inside. Then it eats the plating on the metal contacts, but also keeps fresh new batteries from getting a, a, a connection. So you wanna remove those deposits. This first part of the video, I'm gonna go over all the things you can do to remove it. In the second part of the video, I'll sh actually show you removing the deposits off of this. How, uh, this is a, a GPS, this is the battery compartment. Now, you have, most people have either alkaline batteries or uh, carbon zinc batteries. Carbon zinc are not that common anymore, but if you were to have carbon zinc, this is where a lot of confusion gets around. Carbon zinc batteries have acid in them, so to neutralize the deposits, you would use a baking soda solution. Just put like a spoonful of so, uh, baking powder into a container, preferably glass, and then a few spoonfuls of water swirled around. Then you're going to be making a solution that is very uh, base that will remove the acid. But most people nowadays, they have alkaline batteries. And these little suckers, they do the same thing as these zinc uh, carbon batteries. They'll corrode and, and puff up and, and then ruin everything. But because they're alkaline, not acid, you want to use vinegar. And you want to use uh, white vinegar. No added, no, don't use uh, apple cider or <laughs> balsamic. Just put a little bit of it in a jar. And then that will over time, with a little uh, effort, remove all of your encrustations and deposits on your connections. Now, what do people use? Some people like to use a toothbrush and a Q-tip. Those are obviously fine. However, with a toothbrush, you want to be careful because it can flip up and little deposits of uh, liquid get in your eye, acid or alkaline. You don't want that to happen. You should wear glasses or a safety glass anyway when you work with stuff. But um, I, I like to do use a, a paintbrush because let's say you, you're working on a situation like I was with this guy. Right here, this was all corroded. So I had to add a tiny little drop, one little tiny drop of the vinegar solution right there to help dissolve that uh, pile of encrustation there. So uh, you wouldn't be able to do that with a to toothpick, not very well. Also, later on when you want to add water, uh, or alcohol, you want to finish off with alcohol to remove all of the, uh, the liquid that you had, either the uh, vinegar or the baking soda solution. You can start off with this little water, but then use the alcohol. The alcohol will dry up all of the water. You can also use spray air to get off all the dust stuff uh, and, and the water particles. But uh, basically, if you just finish up with the alcohol when you're all done. Now, what is the best way to get off the little uh, encrustations that are really tough? I was using the little metal uh, tweezers to get in some of the deposits, and that works pretty good for me, but I started off using just a large plastic piece because that's soft and it won't damage anything. But down when I got toward the end, I was using something harder. This works out really well. It's a tiny little screwdriver. It makes like a, almost like a dental pick. And that's for getting to, you want to only do it on parts that you won't pop something off and break. So uh, this worked out very well for me. Now, if you don't want your batteries to leak in the future, you can go to the rechargeable lithium or, uh, yeah, the lithium. These are made in Japan, the end loops. I think these are some of the best out there. And they don't normally leak on you like the carbon sink and the, al the alkaline batteries. So that is my tip for tools you can use. Um, you, you don't need to, uh, to, dig at it too hard. You, you want to use the liquid to soften up in time. The time and, and the vinegar is going to be your friend. Um, but even if it's a big pile, it looks like a coral reef, you can get almost everything off. So don't throw stuff in the garbage. So let's go ahead and go to the part where 
I actually show you where it's all encrusted and how I removed it using the stuff I just talked about. In case I forget, when you fix your your uh, batteries, you are going to have a little problem because when they got corroded, the plating was removed. So now there's just steel. There's nothing on top of it to protect. So you can get something called dielectric grease and just put over your connections where they've been corroded. and if any plating has been removed, that will help uh, to keep the corrosion from coming back. You can get it uh, on the stores. It's called Dielectric. I'll leave a link. It's Dielectric Grease, like between five and seven bucks, nice big tube. And you can just put it on stuff that has been corroded and, and uh, the plating has been removed. You can also put it in your car battery post terminals too. All right, take care. See you out there. Rob so made life every week for 15 years over a thousand videos. All right guys, take care. See you out there.